Don't get don't get me started, dog. Don't get me fucking started, dog. Period point blank. This goddamn rape talk. You you don't feel it. You don't feel it because it's not and this is see, I was you go look at my archive. I've been talking about this Me Too movement and battle, battling the Me Too movement with the Men Too movement. This is something that I started before this shit even popped off. Because me myself, I've been oh my god, if we start talking about how many times that a bitch didn't goddamn sexually assaulted me in my fucking life, my nigga, come on, I get a lot of hoes locked up right fucking now, my nigga. And you hoes know it. They say they say that you dog, you can be married to a motherfucker and they can rape you. Dog, let me talk to you. I done been in in, in a house with hoes. Living with a bitch, and I'm I hey yo, 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 hey man, what's going on? Yo! Bitch, grab your dick and insert you into like come on my nigga. You gotta excuse me. I got a whole bunch of shit on the table here. Um, but this is why I'm needed in in this era um, at this point in time because what I'm noticing as I'm listening to the other bloggers. Let me. I, I don't want to get too deep before I even get my intro and shit like that. But you motherfuckers are having a lot of fucking fun discussing other folks' goddamn. The shit they go through. Like, it's so easy to talk about someone else's life. I said this shit so long ago. I said, um, my life is your entertainment. Like, actually, Usher said, I think he said it after I made that up, whatever like that. Um, like, you, you really, your life, there's nothing going on. There's no excitement. There's nothing in your life that you find in it, um, pleasure in, there's no up and down, there's no, you know, your, your life is just like this, it's like a, a, a fucking flat plane, just like the fucking earth, you know what I'm saying, and this is the only, I can tell, this is the only pleasure that you get, you're not trying to change a goddamn thing, boy, you getting too damn big for this shit, boy, hey, look, I'm extremely appreciative to everybody who's been showing love, giving their suggestions on what we should stop next on the Big Face Podcast Alabama Tour. But I need you to go to my DM and not the comment section. What the fuck is you doing? Stop that. I'm a preacher to everybody who's been donating. If you've been donating, I definitely know who the fuck you are. Most of y'all have been donating, you know what I'm saying, like, routinely. If you haven't donated yet, get the fuck out of my comment section Tell me how much you like the show. Just yeah, please, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, I don't, you know I don't fuck with those kind of people. Just go on back to, you know what I'm saying, where the fuck you came from. You know what I mean? PayPal.me forward slash Aaron337. Very simple. Very easy. Um, the Big Face Podcast snapbacks, as you can see, are now in. Going for $25. So are the RU Series t-shirts. I actually took the RU Series t-shirt down to $20. All you got to do is go to PayPal.me forward slash RU Series 10. Put all your information in and the shit will be there in three to five business days. Get your shit together, bit, homie. You motherfuckers enjoy criticizing these situation that these people are getting, and I can hear it in your voice. You're like laughing, huh? <laughs> you, you might not be <laughs> laughing as you talk about these real life fucking situation. There's no learning in it. It's not no question of whether or not when I talk about this shit, you know what I'm saying, I really don't give a fuck about the situation, nor the celebrity that the situation is, is, is going on with, you know what I'm saying, I'm so, I bring that shit into your real life, for the average person's real life, but you motherfuckers, and for you motherfuckers that follow that type of fucking activity, this is how your life goes, so you have to tune in to other people's life in order to feel anything. So you take pleasure in people's real life downfalls. Get 
Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm El Conseco, fearless leader of AO Nation. And this is... Y'all make sure that you uh, go get your AO Nation shirts. You do have to go to the other PayPal in order to do that. But if you're going to... If we're going to advertise or if we're going to do donations, all donations go to the same uh, PayPal that's in the description box. But to get your AO Nation t-shirts, you go to paypal.me forward slash RU Serious 10. Get your t-shirts. If you do not have your t-shirts, you are not officially in AO Nation. Get your shit together. Big home and big bitch. All right. This is a situation that I held off from talking about um, uh, strictly because of how serious it is. And, and I know that I already have motherfuckers in the goddamn comment section and faggots talking, talking about, you know what I'm saying, a nigga hate bitches and shit like that. And that shit cool, whatever like that. Um, y'all are using the same fucking um, logic. Of a fucking drill sergeant hates the privates that he's teaching. A parent hates the children that they're disciplining. Um, if you don't agree with everything that a motherfucker does, then you hate them. That's the logic that they use. Period. Point blank. Um, and so I want you to stay in your fucking world. My only, you know what I'm saying. My only uh, issue is that you continue to watch someone that you don't like. I just don't understand that. You know what I'm saying. If I don't like the home and garden channel, I, I turn that motherfucker. I don't have to actually tell them my issue. But that furthermore proves my point of people who have no life, this is what they get their entertainment from. Uh, so make sure you pay attention to that. Everybody in the comment section who has something negative to say, and l- l- just look at what they say, whatever, like that. Um, not nothing that's, it, 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 they have no logic points in their discussion is just he hate bitches uh uh he uh, uh boosted pay him uh he hate bitches uh now nah, I love her like what the fuck it's just retarded people then you go and I actually I click the picture sometimes like look at these motherfuckers they don't have no video they don't have they just have a fucking YouTube page for no fucking reason. Just do that. Whenever you see somebody on that hating shit in the comment section click on their thumbnail and go look at them. And I guarantee you on their page they have shit on that motherfucker. Nothing on there. They do not show their faces. Nothing is going on with them. And that lets you know. Like, of course they're going to be mad and say something negative. Of course. Charlemagne is in this situation right fast. And, and it's a lot of, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about the situation. What I'm talking about is, I always look at folks as, as just like this. If I was in that situation, what would I want to take place? And how would people do me? I always thought like this. Okay, if people saw me on the news, this is how I set it up. Like, because I need you to get in my head. All right. So I uncover some. Some information. I just stumble onto some information. Like I'm walking down the road, walking the dogs and shit like that. And then I see a fucking, you know what I'm saying, UFO or some, you know what I'm saying, a motherfucker, a uh, high-end politician get murdered or some shit like that. Some shit that an average person, citizen is not supposed to see. And I run away, whatever like that. I'm running on I'm mad. I tell somebody about this shit, whatever like that. And in order to make my words... Null and void, they now have to turn me into a criminal. No different from enemy of the state. If you haven't seen enemy of the state, then you need to go back and watch that because you're in a whole different mindset. Um, so now I'm enemy of the city. So now what they do is, uh, this this man, uh, Ayo Canseco, um, government name Aaron Lewis, uh, uh, killed two children. And uh, rape the dog, or just some or uh, rape the woman and kill two children. I'm a felon. I have a 
stupid background, you know what I'm saying, documented. You know what I'm saying? Why would anyone believe me over them? I will be sent to fucking prison. You know what I'm saying? And I can scream to the top of my lungs. I ain't do this shit, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. I seen these motherfuckers kill a goddamn... Y'all don't, y'all don't see the fuck going on? They killed, they killed the motherfucker, man. I see the motherfucker kill Obama. I'm trying to tell you what's going on. Obama is a clone. I saw him die. I saw him fucking die. But because now my word is tainted, even, let's go deep into it. My word is tainted from the jump because I'm, my, they can just go off my past already. But they wouldn't let me divulge this information. They can't let me divulge information because I might wake some people up. They they won't let you uncover the truth. Um, of course, now with me with a platform, I, they damn sure gonna kill my shit. Um, it's gonna be hell for me to get that out. And what I'm saying is, would anybody fucking believe me? Before you know, um, this shit right here popped off. If I had to depend on Baldwin County or just Daphne, you know what I'm saying to. Believe me over the fucking dad and the police, I'd be fucking dead. I'd be dead. It's over for me. It's over with. And you need to apply this theory to your life. You know what I'm saying? And apply it to other people who you've seen gone down. If you are someone who believes that the news is always accurate, the news always tells the truth, you are, you're not an idiot, but you're ignorant to what's going on. Um, I did the Bankroll Fresh video. If you noticed, um, the Bankroll Fresh video I did, it had one title, and then it had another title. What happened was, Bankroll Fresh's father contacted me, a real nigga, man, real nigga. Um, he contacted me and let me know what actually happened. They actually called to the news office and let them know that wasn't you know what I'm saying that wasn't that lady's house like the fuck are y'all talking about why the fuck are y'all going off of fucking because the news sometimes gets their information from social media so they had to manually tell these motherfuckers that's not what the fuck happened the fuck is wrong with y'all and Bankroll Fresh's mother did that. She called like, what the fuck y'all got my name in this shit for? So they had to change the story. And that's just uh, uh, an example I can give to you to let you know that they're not always right. But this is the issue I have. Like, y'all motherfuckers swear that y'all are outside the box and you don't give a fuck what people say and shit like that. But you will run with motherfucking rumors with no issue. You won't talk about them. You will hear you like you will hear a rumor about a nigga, and I'm guilty of this too. I've heard rumors about niggas, and of course, when I see the nigga, I'm not going to ask him about that shit I heard happened to him when he was in prison and shit like that. Like he was, he had gambling debts. They had this nigga running all over the dorm and shit like that, trying to kill him and shit like that. This nigga was calling for COs and shit. I'm not going to ask him about that when I see him, but in my mind, that's what that's my image of him, whatever. You have to watch, that's why you have to watch who you have around you. If you have those type of people around you that are untrustworthy, they're going to contaminate your fucking thoughts. And when they contaminate your thoughts, they're going to contaminate your personal relationships. If I've had millions of fucking rumors about me, millions, and because of these rumors, a lot of motherfuckers keep their distance and they don't they don't they have no idea what the fuck going on but the legend of AO is so fucking tainted to where some motherfuckers wouldn't want to approach because of all the horrible shit you might have heard. But because you didn't approach now you locked out. Because if you in Baldwin County you have no way to get into this entertainment industry. No one in Baldwin County knows how the fuck to get out. I am the door. I'm the only door. If you don't fuck with me and you in Baldwin County and you do music and any of that shit, whatever like that, you gonna fail. You're gonna fail. Period. I'm the only nigga who ever did it like I did it. 
You know what I'm saying? And I'm still the only nigga doing this shit, whatever like that. Niggas be trying to do shit, whatever like that. But at the end of the day, you doing that shit for not because the plug is right here. But you won't fuck with the plug because of all the horrible things you've heard. So what that has done is, it's contaminated not only your relationships and your thoughts, but your opportunities. You need to once again apply what I'm saying to maybe someone in your neighborhood around you and we apply the same thing to this situation right here knowing that niggas can lie we know this we know niggas lie we know bitches lie um we know that the news is inaccurate at times let's talk about Charlemagne. i don't put emotions into my calculations i like numbers Two plus two is going to equal four, no matter if the one of the twos is tired, if one of the twos is green, if one of the twos is mad, if one of the twos is a, 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 a low-down ass nigga, if one of the twos is a cheater, it don't matter. A two and a two is going to equal four every fucking time. This situation, I salute Star. Fuck with Star. Star ain't doing nothing wrong. He's entertaining. He's Bringing truth to power, all that. I, that's that's not my issue at all. I, he doing his job. Like nigga, do your thing. He did the bam body shit with with a uh, uh, fucking uh, poppy and shit like that. Like do your thing. But that fucking girl is no. Let's get back to Charlemagne. Charlemagne, niggas don't like Charlemagne. Pure point blank, niggas don't like Charlemagne. You are a. You have to be a. Nigga that's, you have to be a real money getting nigga to fuck with Charlemagne. If you fuck with Charlemagne, you you on fucking, you a famous nigga. JD Kiss, fucking, uh, uh, Puffy, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas that actually got money or whatever, they fuck with him because he's like really like a gatekeeper if you think about it. He pushes niggas down that don't belong there. And if you can get past Charlemagne, you a certified star. That's crazy, ain't it? He pushes niggas down. If you can get past them, you're a certified star. 6'9. Uh, Azalea Banks, Carter B. Uh, Lil Mama. Up, down. It, it, whatever way. You go. This, this is what we test you at. Even if you don't like Charlemagne, you like to see him. You might not watch his podcast, but uh, my fucking two star hurt right there. You might not like his podcast, whatever like that, but you like to see what happens. When he collides with somebody, you know what I'm saying? You like to see what happens when you put that vinegar and that baking soda together. You want to see what's going down with that shit. All right. Hold on. Well, but the common consensus is that no one likes Charlemagne. So when something bad happens to Charlemagne, the one that, you know, made up the donkey of the day, who, the one who made his rise destroying people's career. Like, know what I'm saying? Like, this this is his... His highlight tape is someone else's career changer. Like, this is where my career... Like, folks remember the day that they, you know what I'm saying, really lost the masses. Like, they, that's the day that they got with Charlemagne. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's... And the reason why Charlemagne wins is because we are... This is a fucking blood sport. Our genre of fucking music, R&B and fucking rap... It's a fucking blood sport. If you think R&B is any different, you need to look at Chris Brown, August Alcina, <laughs> August Alcina, August Alcina. Yo, I'm surprised I even know that fucking name. Um, Usher, Trey. Wait, first of all, there's no, there's no black, there's no successful black person that has no dirt on their name. Pure point black, and that's that's something that we need to look into. There's no successful black person that has a clean name. No motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Accusations or no bullshit on these fucking records. And that's that's the real fuck up. But we, so because of the blood sport, we want to see the motherfucker like, you know, when you go into this gladiator cage, it's like, uh, darn, no! Uh, and the challenger is 6'9. He's going up against the, the fucking people's champion, darn, no! You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta have the fuck, the person who always, like, Bash niggas' heads in and shit, and it was the lions in the Roman days. You know what I'm saying? Like a fucking animal. You know what I'm saying? You gotta beat this fucking animal in order to be called a fucking gladiator. And you can really 
a liking our fucking, you know what I'm saying, our genre to that, like, to that platform. Like, this is what the fuck this is. This is the arena that we in. We want to see motherfuckers fucked up. And you fucking bloggers who sit back up there, you know, you remember in Roman times. If you don't know about Roman times and if you can't picture what I'm saying in your head, then you don't belong here, honestly. In Roman times, you know, you got the, uh, the whole, everybody's out there. And remember, the reason why the government put these fucking gladiator fights together was because it wanted to take the people's mind off the fact that they were being starved. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's where this whole theory of if you want to control the people, keep them dumb. That's where it came from. So they not eating, they got a shit in the street, all kind of bullshit, whatever like that. But we're going to give them blood. You know what I'm saying? We can't give them anything else. We're going to give them blood and shit like that. So now you got the king up there. He being fanned and shit like that. And he do the... You know what I'm saying? That type of shit, whatever. So here it is. Bam. Uh, darn all. And then, like, so the gladiator is getting eight. He's losing to the lions and shit like that. And you got this faggot-ass fucking jest up that whole dancing and making the people laugh at him getting his fucking arm cut off. That That's that's us. That's us as Charlemagne destroyed, you know what I'm saying, little mama. That's us as Charlemagne did that shit to, you know what I'm saying, every other motherfucker that came up that hole and got destroyed. That's what the fuck that was. And we fiend for that shit. So now, I think the only issue here was maybe Charlemagne expected, did you? Charlemagne, did you expect for the people to be on your side when you were the donkey of the day? When you were getting your arm thrashed off, did you expect the people to feel sorry? For the lion that they cheered for? No. They wanted blood either way. Whether it came from you or it came from the fucking contender. Did you not see the way people did you on that 6 9 shit? They wanted to see blood. And you, was, you are as brutal as it gets. No matter how you are in real life, we don't give a fuck if the, the lion is nice outside the fucking cage and uh, you can pet him out. See, he's nice. Nobody gives a fuck about that. We give a fuck like, you know what I'm saying, when they got you in your fucking metal and shit like that with your big mane and you about to destroy to the death. You about to kick, because this shit, this ain't no play play shit. Give a fuck if you bring a preacher in or none of that shit. Like, give a fuck. You destroy people. This shit does not help their fucking career. You bring it to the forefront and it destroys them. And you, someone who understands the universe and how it's round and, and regardless, you know what I'm saying, karma is a real thing, the energy that you get from it, you had to understand that at some point in time, the motherfucker that you work for is looking, <laughs> he's looking for someone to replace that old fierce lion. You've had your time. They done with the lions. Now they want a fucking, they want a robotic fucking, you know what I'm saying? Killer. Or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, the one that you work for is pushing you out at this point. But I'm going too far. I'm going too far. I'm going too far. I want to talk to y'all. I didn't got all the way to fuck, but I'm, this is real shit, though. The reason why y'all are, because my issue is really with you motherfuckers laughing at anybody's demise, at anybody's pain. That shit hurt. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going you to talk about it, talk about it with passion and try to, you know what I'm saying, help somebody else. All this fucking laughing shit, I don't get that shit. That shit really just blew me, though. <laughs> yeah, maybe, you might want to throw You might want to throw Hey dog no, this is somebody life It's a rape case And this shit is saying that Here it is A woman cannot take advantage Of a man even if So here it is this, this is what we saying oh, I'm so fucked up She fucked up he fucked up When they wake up and the, I'm not talking about Charlemagne I'm just talking about in general she fucked up, he fucked up. We fuck, we wake up. I don't know what happened. Imagine a nigga saying, I don't know what happened. Can a man go to the police and say she took advantage of me because I was drunk? Better yet, let's do it like this. 
He fucked up, she not fucked up. He don't want to fuck, but because he drunk, no, oh man, she starts sucking his dick and shit get hard. Oh man, now she just, right there, that's fucking, that's sexual abuse right there, that's fucking rape. You force a sexual act on me, that's fucking rape. I was not able to fucking defend myself. I'm blacked out drunk, you know what I'm saying, started sucking my dick, fucked up. Oh, you should like that type of shit. If you don't like that shit, you gay. Fuck that shit. Don't, if a, a nigga eating a bitch out, that shit feel good. You should like that shit. What the fuck? The fuck? If rape is rape, down the fucking middle, it goes both fucking ways. So if I'm incapacitated and a, a bitch, I'm blacked out and a bitch, you know what I'm saying, do anything to me sexually, that's fucking rape. And she should be fucking brought to justice for that shit if this the game we playing. And this is what I want to talk about. Take the people out of it. Take the people to fuck out this shit because this shit's starting to get out of control. I, it's not Star's fault. This bitch, what she came up with, this, if because Star can't make this whole talk. Regard, if you pay a motherfucker, you can't make them talk. Morally, morally, if morally you should feel like I nah, I'm hey look man, I want I wanted to have sex. You know what I'm saying? Like I was 15 years old, just like any other average 15 year old. Wanna go fuck a nigga that's 22, yo? This shit ain't nothing new. Regardless if I agree with this shit or fucking not, you know goddamn well right now in your neighborhood, it's a nigga walking around with a 16 year old. Not fucking, I'm talking, not just fucking fucking, I'm talking about walking around with the bitch. Oh my god, so the man a 15, oh my god. Oh, oh, I'm appalled. Appalled? Man, this motherfucker's walking around this bitch mad because motherfucker can't get married at 14. And this goddamn man 24 years old. And ain't nobody, ain't nobody got nothing to say because the 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 girl's family is poor. Don't get don't get me started, dog. Don't get me fucking started, dog. Period point blank. This goddamn rape talk. You you don't feel it. You don't feel it because it's not, and this is, see, I was, you go look at my archive, I've been talking about this Me Too movement and battle, battling the Me Too movement with the Men Too movement. This is something that I started before this shit even popped off. Because me, myself, I've been, oh my God, if we start talking about how many times that a bitch didn't goddamn sexually assaulted me in my fucking life, my nigga, come on, I get a lot of hoes locked up right fucking now, my nigga. And you hoes know it. They say they say that you, dog, you can be married to a motherfucker and they can rape you. Dog, let me talk to you. I done been in in, in a house with hoes. Living with a bitch. And I'm I, hey yo, 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 hey man, what's going on? Yo. Bitch, grab your dick and insert you into like come on, my nigga. In it, and I'm not, I don't want to get on that whole arrogant shit, but my nigga, if you a nigga that bitches fuck with, if bitches fuck with you heavy like that, you didn't probably had a situation to where, you know what I'm saying, if you was a, if you was a female and she was a male, this shit would have been extremely inappropriate. Whether she started sucking your dick without your permission, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, you know, coming on to you, whatever like that, grabbing your dick all crazy, jacking your dick all crazy, like, yo, and the reason why you can't just really back the whole down because she can call the law, and you don't want that shit to be that awkward like that. You don't want, like, that, yo, like, come on, no, 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 not tonight, yo, come on, just trying to go to sleep, man. What the, you must be fucking somebody else. Like, no, I just don't want to fuck you, you ugly bitch. Let me chill out. Let me chill out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. It just, it shit. I'm sorry. But, but listen. Right now, there's a girl. Uh, I think she's from Mobile, Alabama, somewhere. Um, she was on Plenty of Fish, a website called Plenty of Fish. And anybody who's uh, familiar with Plenty of Fish, you know that that site is for bitches who, you know. Fat hoes, ugly hoes, just unattractive bitches, whatever. Like, this is where bitches go when it's old with them. When they're they not going to work out, it is old. They might got a straight little job, but it's like, I didn't want to fuck. Please have sex with me. This is usually, this is a prison site. Prison niggas go to plenty of fish and find a bitch that they're going to live with once they get out. It's kind of like a, um, it's kind of like a, a halfway house, you know what I'm saying, 
for relationships and shit like that. So you start at the halfway house, then you go get the bitches that you usually fuck with. But sometimes, you know what I'm saying, you got these stories where the nigga will end up because his life is over. You know what I'm saying? You got a 50-year-old nigga that's been in prison for 20 years. He get on plenty of fish, meet a bitch. Now she paying for, you know what I'm saying, food and shit like that in jail. You know what I'm saying? She might start paying for lawyer fee. Now he get out. He go live with it and shit like that. And she supply that nigga with all the dope he want or whatever the fuck it is. He start working a little job and he die like that. Right there with that bitch. You know what I'm saying? And that bitch will be back on plenty of fish because she has an, she has an insatiable thirst for dick. This is why hoes go on plenty of fish. Any hoe that's on plenty of fish is a fucking uh, nympho. She needs to fuck a lot. But this hoe uh, was told by a nigga to come to um, come to an apartment, whatever like that. And this hoe came over there knowing that they were gonna fuck. You know, big fat black hoe. You know what I'm saying? She fucked whatever like that. I don't know the whole name, whatever like that. I don't know a Facebook name, but I, I got pictures of the hoe. Um, they fucked whatever like that. She, he get a whole gas money and I think bought the whole something to eat. She dropped him off where he had to, I think he had to, he had to leave from the apartment because he was in the, in the apartment of another fat hoe that he was fucking with. Uh, so he fucked on his fat hoe with another fat hoe. Crazy shit. So now she dropped him off where the fuck he had to go. Two days later, this hoe puts a rape charge on that motherfucker. Is it crazy to say that some bitches are unrapeable? Like, bitch, really, if you are... I don't get me started. I don't want to... But, bitch, you way too much for a nigga to rape you. In order for a nigga to rape you, he has to be able to do a full 12 round and box. That nigga has to have the strength of 10 men. Like, no, bitch. Like, no. And he has to have, like, he has to have a strong stomach because then he got to look at you and shit like, like, come on, bitch. But this hoe has a valid rape charge on this motherfucker. And he's from Dabney. The police put a rape first on him. Anybody with eyes can see what the fuck is going on there. You know what I'm saying? She wanted some, maybe when she called the next day, she was blocked or whatever fuck like that. So it took two days or how fucking long it took the bitch. You know what I'm saying? If you got raped, you would go straight to the fuck. And you damn sure wouldn't just drop the nigga off where the fuck he wanted to go. You would go immediately to the fucking police station. And plus the fact, bitch, nobody fucking raped you because you too fucking ugly and fat. You came to the fucking apartment to fuck. But see, this the thing. This the thing. Nothing ass bitches and everybody with ears and eyes, autistic motherfuckers know that if you want, if you're a female and you want to fuck a nigga up, just say that they raped you. They no longer need rape kits. It was a time eons and eons ago where if you wanted to put someone in jail, you had to have something called evidence. No longer is that the case. To get a nigga put in jail now, all you need is a mouth. Words. You can destroy a nigga's life. Now, with this whole Me Too movement, you destroy a nigga's life by saying, he sexually assaulted me 12, 20, 60 years ago. It wasn't criminal until they hit Bill Cosby. Now, it is... So, what they were losing was was their life, like their job and shit like that, and all their sponsors and shit like that. But when Bill Cosby got hit now, oh, man, you go to jail for that shit. Which is crazy because, you know, the nigga Weinstein should have went to jail first. Crazy shit, but it's still like, how in the fuck do I go to jail off something that somebody said? Like, are you fucking serious? You can't be serious. She, she's fucking lying. Like, where the fuck is the proof at? Where's the proof? Do you understand how dangerous this way of thinking is? So I cannot sit here with this whole, you know, ah, uh, man, because the universe is going to take care of the universe. The universe is going to clean itself. It's no one's job to destroy Charlemagne.